I, with the triple digit temperatures outside, I'm just going to seek refuge this afternoon in my office and doing something totally off the trail of my channel, and that is homesteading. I'm going to play with numbers today and I'm going to show you a mathematical puzzle that will impress your family and friends. Stay tuned. Hello, welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. I brought you guys into my library today because here we have air conditioning and it's triple digits outside. So I figured it out. I'm going to do something a little bit silly and an completely off subject. Uh, and I'm going to share with you guys this uh, mathematical puzzle that I learned. And uh, it's, it's, it's interesting. You can um, be able to... Well, I personally have um, impressed my uh, probability and statistics teacher in college and uh, taught it to our class and gave them this, um, well, there's a trick to it. It's a mathematical puzzle uh, that is interesting. I mean, it, it just twists the mind. So let's get a piece of paper, sit down at the desk, and I'll show you guys the pattern and the methodology behind the success of this puzzle. I grabbed some scratch paper from my fax machine. Let's get two pieces because I want to show you guys two different methods that you can use, do. It's kind of like a numbers tic-tac-toe. Uh, we're going to start off simple and we're going to do two grids. First of all, we're going to do the, the three space, uh, th the th like the tic-tac-toe pattern. And we're going to place the numbers one through nine in this pattern and show you how it will total uh, 15 no matter which way you look at it. So uh, let's get down to it. Of course we start off with tick tack toe here we go now you're going to place the numbers one through nine in these spaces but you want to total one through nine to where they total 15 15 15 yes and even 15 15 15 also 15 15 not impossible. I'll show you. If you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now add all that up. Fifteen, fifteen, fifteen. We're going to go this way. Equals fifteen. Equals fifteen equals 15. Got your calculator out? We're going to even uh, total this way. Yep, equals 15. And this way also equals 15. See, it's not impossible. It's just, there's a pattern to it. And like everything in nature, nature has a pattern. It's like the Fibonacci numbers. Uh, I'll show you the, at the end of the video on what Fibonacci numbers are. A lot of you do know, but uh, at one time up until a point as in my adult life, I had never heard of Fibonacci numbers and didn't know anything about them. But I want to show you the guys, uh, the Fibonacci numbers also. But I'm going to show you this mathematical pattern, how to achieve it, and that you too can, well, impress your friends, your parents, your kids, anybody. Even your teacher like I did with this uh, puzzle. I learned this one back when I was in junior high and was a fellow student that shared this with me. So let me show you how to do it. 
let's change papers and let's go with a bigger grid let's do instead of th uh, two lines let's do four lines when you're doing this mathematical puzzle you have to use an even amount of lines so you come up with an odd amount of spaces so there's 25 spaces here using four lines up four lines down so we're going to work with 1 through 25 and place them in one number using one number only once place them in the grid pattern and I'm going to show you that there is a pattern a method and the secret is this I'll go slow so you guys can follow along so with working with numbers 1 through 25 we're going to place each number once in each one of these grids and then one will total them up and I'll show you the total always start out your first number always goes top dead center and your last number should always end up bottom dead center always now to get to achieve this you need to follow these rules your pattern is wherever you're placing your number and there's a few, a few other uh, alternative or there's exceptions and I'll tell you the exceptions because you have to uh, follow this pattern to place your second number to find the spot for number two you always go up directly above that number one space and then to the right one space always 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 to make this work so you go up one over one or just go up one space at an angle so our next space there's no space here so here's the rules if you're in a space or if the space is blocked I'll explain that in a minute if there's if, if there's no space here but where's you where's your pattern lie it falls over an empty column or if it falls next to an empty row you and then this is a rule you place your next number to the last available space dropping two all the way down to the bottom the last available space okay now we go from two up one over one automatic three now here we go up one over one you have no column here but you do have a row so your number four is going to go to your right the last available space four you're seeing the pattern uh, there's a hitch in this pattern pay attention five up one over one five now here's the hitch up one over one blocked by a one it's blocked you cannot put another number there and it doesn't fit to put a number anywhere around here so if the number if the pattern is blocked by another number or no row or no column like over here when we get over here I'll show you you drop your next number directly below this is the only exception where you go directly below and not the last available space only if you're next to a, a row or a column you go to the last available space but you're not you're blocked so you drop your six or your next number below your previous number now let's follow this six up one over one seven up one over one eight up one over one there's no row but there's a column nine goes down here up one over one ten there's no column but there's a row ten will go here eleven blocked so eleven will drop below remember up here is blocked we drop it below here it's blocked you drop it below now in these patterns I'm going to show you something interesting your center set of numbers will all fall if you go like 1 through 25 11 12 13 14 and 15 will be your center sequence of numbers you'll have an equal amount of numbers before that row and an equal amount of numbers at the end of the row let me show you with a tic-tac-toe pattern we use one through nine so we got th uh, the, the, the center numbers 
the middle set of numbers in three are four, five, and six. They're all sequential, and notice, they all go up to the right angle always. And if your center numbers follow down this path always up the center, you're going to be on the right path and you're going to end well. So, you're right. The next numbers in our grid pattern are going to be 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. See how they all, and these are your five center numbers. There's five numbers that directly fall right in the middle of 1 through 25. And that will happen with any kind of variation of equal number of lines you choose to do it. So, it still follows the rule, up one over one, up one over one, up one over one, up one over one. Okay, we're going to go up one over one, whoops, okay, we talked about this earlier. This one falls not all over a column or next to a row, it's an empty space in oblivion. So this space, since it's there's nothing to do it there, it's an occupied space or an unoccupied space, whatever, but it's a blocked space. The rule is, just with the, uh, the six, five was blocked by one, so you place your next number below it. So the same applies here. So 16 will drop directly below the 15 because this equals a blocked space. Now, 17, you're getting the pattern. Yep, we're going up one over one since we're next to a row, the last available space. 17 will go here. If you guys are liking this, this little puzzle here, give me a thumbs up. Um, and uh, I'll show you a couple of other things too in a future video because it's hot outside. It's too hot to do homesteading. So I'm just going to do something silly. But we're all learning something, right? Okay, <laughs> let's get back to the puzzle and we'll finish this one out. Okay, we're looking for 18. Uh, we're, next, we're, we're not next to a row, but we're over a column. So 17, 18, up one over one, 19, up one over one, 20, up one over one, blocked. So we drop it down, 21, up one over one, 22. Up one over one, no column, but we're in a row. Uh, 23, up one over one, 24, up one over one. You're over this column, so you drop it to the last available space. At the beginning, I showed you your last number is going to end up bottom dead center, as if you start your, your first number top dead center. We did it. Now let's total this. Got your calculators out? Check your math. If you can, if it, all the columns and rows match, you did it right. So let's check the math. 17 plus 24 plus 1 plus 8 plus 15 equals 65. The same way with this row. Same way with this row. Same way with this row. Interesting puzzle, huh? The same way with this row. The same way with this uh, column, this column, this column, this column, this column, yes, and even this row right here. No matter which way you look at it, using one number once, each number, using them once, 1 through 25, Place them in five spots, and all these numbers collectively in this grid pattern all equal 65. That is an amazing puzzle to really impress your family and friends. And if you guys want to try even the bit, you know, more lines, remember, use equal amount of lines. I used four lines here. You can use six lines. Six lines across, six lines up and down. And then go like that. I'll show you real quickly and we'll go fast. Watch. Six lines. Equal amount of lines. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? Alright. Find your center, top dead center. 
you got these, 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 center. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, and 49. So our first number started top dead center. The center series of numbers fall directly in the center going up at the right angle and your last number always follows the bottom dead center check the math. They will all equal, no matter which way you look at them, will equal 175. How about that? Isn't that amazing? Now, I want to show you guys the pattern for Fibonacci numbers. What are Fibonacci numbers? Fibonacci numbers are a pattern that actually appears in nature. Uh, and Mr. Fibonacci figured this out and was able to apply it um, so let me give you the image of the Fibonacci numbers. So let's start off with a clean sheet of paper. So you're going to go with one box start off, one. Then you add another box next to it, one. Then you add these two boxes together, and so you have two. So one plus one equals two, so you make an equal size box. Then you make an equal size box here, the same size as this whole pattern right here. So now you've got 2 plus 1 equals 3. Now you add all these together, making a bigger box. 3 plus 2 equals 5. And a bigger box, 8. And a bigger box, and you keep going around in a circle, 13, and a bigger box, because what's 8 plus 13? It's 21. So you see the pattern? So what you're going on here, what you have going on here is if you start in the middle where it centers on the lines, you're going to start going through the center of the lines of these boxes, and you're going to end up with a spiral. And that's the simple sequence of Fibonacci numbers is you just uh, use the box method and add your, I mean, just, it's just addition so you can find the next uh, number in the sequence of uh, Fibonacci numbers. He was a, an Italian mathematician. But anyway, where it appears in nature, take a pine cone, look down at the top of the pine cone, and you'll notice the pine cone is patterned in that sequence. In a, in, in a spiral. Uh, the cosmos are in a spiral. If you look at a flower full of petals, you'll know that the, notice that the petals are growing in a spiral sequence. It's, it's amazing. Uh, pine needles coming out of the, uh, the branch, they're coming out in the form of a spiral. A, a, a shell, a seashell, look at a seashell like a conical shell. It's it forms a spiral. So uh, this is what appears in na nature, the spiral, uh, the math in nature. It, that's interesting. It just really fascinates me. So that's it. Um, that is uh, my kind of goofy, nonsensical, off the subject of homesteading presentation to you guys today, just to beat the heat. And you guys can... Um, 
Yeah, impress your friends and your family. Nice um, party game, too. Hey, I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. This is Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. We're a um, modern homestead and also a frugal homestead tucked high in the Cascade Ranges of the Pacific Northwest. Please stay tuned to more videos. You could do that by subscribing, then clicking that bell icon. That alerts you to new videos as I do upload them. Give us a thumbs up and uh, click that share button. Sharing my videos on your social media platforms helps us out. Hey, like I said, give that thumbs up, like the show, leave a comment, and be safe. Always be kind, people. Always be kind. We'll see you guys in the next episode, all right? Have fun with those numbers. Bye-bye now.